Hello. How we doing? At Virginia Tech, everybody knows the goat and the dog. This is the Frank and Hank show, a little more Hank than Frank right now. Y'all want to see Hank? All the pretty girls like Hank. <laughs> hey! Ah. Yeah. Oh, uh, hold on, wrong way. <laughs> UVA guy right here, he hasn't got his camera ready. Thank you. All right, man. Thank you very much. Y'all take care. Before he retired in 2015 as the winningest coach in school history, Virginia Tech got Frank Beamer for 33 seasons. Four as a player, 29 as a head coach. And during those 29 years, Beamer's Hokies got famous. And then got a new coach, Justin Fuente. I'm incredibly humbled by this opportunity. I cannot wait to get started. I want to thank Coach Beamer. We all know you don't replace a legend in coaching. I told him that I, all transitions don't go as smooth as this one. But I know sometimes that next coach doesn't want the former coach around. But, you know, that's just not the way we do it here at Virginia Tech. We all know the, the old adage that you never should be the guy that follows the guy. And um, this one's just different. Unbelievable we, it was going to be the best practice yeah. facility you could ever imagine. What began as a professional courtesy is now a football friendship. Kindness has been repaid with kindness. I stayed away. I didn't want to get in the way. I didn't want to, you know, he sent word to me. He said, hey, the players want to see you. Come on over. Coach Fuente always talks about Coach Beamer and, um, you know, how much he looks up to him. And it's a very close connection. And they honor a player each week. They were 25, and that was Frank's number. We were talking about a way to honor Coach. I wanted it to be something more than just painting a 25 on the field. And wearing number 25 today is Greg Stroman. That is in honor of former coach Frank Beamer. Stroman to the 20, and Stroman is in the end zone. Touchdown, Hokies. Beamer ball back here in Blacksburg. About brought tears to my eyes because of, uh, it just kind of shows the respect again that, uh, that Justin has for Frank and what Frank has meant to college football. The goat shadow stretches long and wide. A statue is the latest honor. You like to think you made a difference at a place. For them to have a statue that will always be there, it's just more than I could ever, ever imagine. When they called him to tell him, uh, we both sat there and cried. He is a humble man. Frank wouldn't want to be on a pedestal, and he treated his players the same way. He treated our children. Uh, Coach Fuente does the same thing. Two coaches separated by nearly 30 years, but brought together by a place, a program, and a purpose. I've always thought there was great value in people that have been around the block, that have been through things, and we're all just trying to build on the foundation that he's laid. The way he treats his players, fans, alumni, he's the right guy for Virginia Tech. Sounds a lot like the guy before him. <laughs> uh, I'd like to think so. I'd like to think so.